Hello, um, I'm here today to show you what the Juno tablet looks uh, in 2023, now in July, um, since it has been released. Um, there has been some upgrades and some improvements to the tablet. As of today, the tablet is now running kernel 6.3. Uh, the battery life has increased, has gotten much better, uh, and that is due to the to the kernel. Um, also, when the tablet first was released, only hi Hibernate was working. Now, Suspend is also working um, since the release of 6.1. <clears throat> it also you can test it here from. I don't know if you can see it very well, but you can click on the Suspend. You can see, if you can tell. I'll see if I can show you here, but I guess you can't see it now. But there's a, a blue light here and it's blinking. If it blinks, then suspend, it's working. It goes into deep suspend. And it should wake up pretty simple after that. And there we go. Also, um, because Suspend now works, um, the tablet actually goes in Suspend, then Hibernate. So it will Suspend, like any other laptop or computer, or including this now on the tablet. And after 12 hours of Suspend, it will go into Hibernation. Uh, that way, users can save battery life much longer. Um, now, the only difference is when you turn it back on after 12 hours, or so, the tablet um, will boot up as if you're just turning on for the first time again. Um, but then you got every all the apps that you you left open, they're gonna be there again. Um, also, since the release, the sound has been improved, um, especially the um, the microphone. A lot of work got done. Um, and also the driver. You can see here that it's blinking because I'm talking, so that's good. Um, la lastly, the front camera was always working from day one. Now the rear camera, I did mention in the first video that it was being worked on. Um, it's still being worked on. It's actually it uses Intel's uh, new camera driver, I guess you can call it, called IPU6. Uh, it's pretty new, at least on the Linux side. So there's still very limited support for not just the tablet, but for all the devices that have this driver. Uh, but a lot of work is getting done. We're halfway there now, actually. So I'm hoping, I really hope that before the end of this year, 2023, we could uh, have it working. That way, the tablet will reach 100% compatibility with the hardware. And lastly, um, this has been some FOSH improvements. Um, the GUI is much nicer, much more responsive, very smooth. Um, it has animation, really nice work. And, and lastly, now, and I showed you before, you can also suspend from here as well. So that is really nice uh, and that's it this is a uh, general tablet uh, in July 2023 I hope you guys like it